from the JES First Warning Weather Center. Here's meteorologist April Loveland. Well, the ocean is angry this morning. Let's take a live look over the Virginia Beach ocean front. Not the place to be today, not anywhere near the water, even though we do see some people kind of walking along the coast there. Definitely on the windy side, I'm sure it's very sand swept there as well. And as we look at our weather headlines, we're tracking that coastal storm that's bringing us all this wind and maybe even a few spotty showers across the Outer Banks. That's not going to be our huge story today. The biggest story is going to be the gusty winds and also our flood threat. We have that tidal flooding that's going to be an issue today, along with some ocean overwash. And as we head into the start of the work week, we'll finally say goodbye to all of this. It's going to be dry and sunny and looks like that dry weather is going to continue through Thursday. Here's first morning radar. There is that area of low pressure, that coastal low chilling just off the coast of South Carolina there. As we head up to our north, though, we have an area of high pressure. So we have that area of high pressure trying to build some drier air into the area. That's why we haven't seen a whole lot of rain out there. A lot of the heaviest rain has stayed just offshore or just to the south of us, which is good news. But the difference between those two pressure gradients there, that is bringing us some gusty winds. As we get a closer look to home, you'll notice we are seeing just a few little showers there across the Albemarle and the Outer Banks may not even be reaching the ground, and if it is, it's probably just a light mist, and that's what we'll be dealing for the day today. As we look at our future cast here, you'll notice by 4 p.m., we can see some showers moving up onto the Outer Banks as that system pulls away, and we see that wrap around moisture. Heading into the overnight, still dealing with cloud cover, but you'll see that sharp cutoff where we see those clouds starting to clear out, scour out overnight and into the day on Monday. So we'll start the day on Monday with a few clouds. Sunshine breaking out for the rest of the day. Still going to be windy today, though. That's one of our main stories. Those winds out of the north and northeast from 15 to 25 plus miles per hour, even he uh, higher on the outer banks. We'll continue with those winds overnight. So howling winds overnight, howling winds as we head into your Monday morning. And as we head through Monday evening, we'll start to see those winds back off just a little bit. So that'll be good. So a little breezy as we head through the outer banks, but especially by Tuesday, we can say goodbye to all of that wind. Wind. wind advisory though that's in effect for Virginia Beach for Currituck County and for Dare County until 7 p.m. Another big story our tides we're going to want to keep a close eye on that 11 a.m. today at schools point we have some minor tidal flooding so if you do live in an area that does get that tidal flooding or if you have to drive through an area that usually sees tidal flooding just keep in mind around that time the road is probably going to be underwater. As we head into 11 p.m. tonight, we're going to be dealing with the same story, same story with noontime tomorrow, and then we'll see that subside heading into Tuesday. Coastal flood warning that's in effect until 2 p.m. today as well for Virginia Beach and for Currituck and for Dare County there. Here's the next three days, though. We have the wind few showers today, 59, 62 on Monday, sunny and windy, plenty of sunshine heading into Tuesday, 68 for the high, partly cloudy on Wednesday, Veterans Day not looking bad, we'll see partly cloudy skies and a high of 71, showers, they'll start to move into the forecast once again on Friday, but it is going to be our warmest day of the week with a high of 73, down to 63 on Saturday with some scattered showers.